hello guys once again this is a very quick video i just want to show you uh, another way of backlighting your panels uh, in a more even and uniform manner right now i am away from my country but uh, from where i am i can show you some piece of experiment here this is the electroluminescent panel it's 10 by 15 centimeter costs about four dollars fifty cents Singapore dollars and uh, I, I ordered this from China so let me show you how dark it is in my environment right now which is that I purposely make this dark because uh, this is to show you the, the lighting so this EL panel when lit it looks like that and I don't have a proper panel here to test except that I have a leftover uh, three millimeter opaque acrylic here painted with the actual Airbus paint with three coats on it and to make some marks uh, I just used some acrylic cutter to scratch those lines and I have a handheld uh, CNC engraver to scribble those text there so to show you without the backlight this is how the the opaque white uh, produces the marking which is not bad it's, it's white enough to, to be seen now with the backlight on that's how it looks like so you can see it's very uniform may not be as bright as you prefer it to be but I think for the purpose of making things readable and uh, uh, clear on, on cockpit I think this is this is bright enough now one of the advantages for this is because you can you can actually cut holes you can cut this into shapes you can cut round holes there to allow knobs through and thereby uh, illuminating the the hole, the, the knob border that glows. You can cut any shapes as long as this edge here and this edge. You keep a bit of it to spread the charge. And also it's very thin, it's very flexible. It's very thin. It is just a as thick as a magazine cover it's a bit thicker here because it's, it's laminated and with a purpose because this thing draws 110 volts AC which can actually give you a, a shock but not dangerous enough to kill you don't worry about that anywhere from 110 to 150 volts AC is the power draw so you can see here uh, for demonstrative purposes we have I, I have cut a hole here on this panel and as you can see it still lights up so you can literally cut any shape here uh, if you want to insert this behind a panel for instance and you have some knobs here to go through so that is the the, the main advantage the disadvantage is maybe uh, the cost because uh, every sheet of this which is 10 by 15 cm is about four fifty four dollars fifty cents Singapore dollars so you might need a lot of this to to cover the area of let's say your overhead panel but to give you an idea how big is uh, this two 10 by 15 cm this is a printout of the FCU the actual dimension and as you can see uh, two pieces of the EL panel can conveniently cover the whole FCU so you just cut some holes to allow the knobs through here and the switches and you should be able to get uh, even lighting so again to demonstrate how it looks like that's the uh, no backlighting uh, this is with backlighting Now, once I get back to my main lab in my country, I will 
use one of these to one of my panels and uh, show you guys in detail how how I will install it and uh, the final result. Thanks so much. Uh, this is a quick video. I will, I will make a follow-up of this once once I get back. And uh, thanks for watching.